Hey, this is Ben with GI. Hey, it's Adam down in the ER. I need your help. What's going on? GI bleed with melana. Okay, did you? Yes, I did a rectal exam myself and I confirmed the melana. Great, how are the vitals? They're tacky to 110 and the systolic's only in the 90s. Okay, not terrible. Well, the hemoglobin just came back at 6.7. Could you come in and scope them? She needs a scope for sure, but not yet. She needs more resuscitation first. I'm already given blood. And a PPI? You love your PPIs. It can make a big difference. Raising the pH of the stomach promotes clot formation if you've got a gastric or duodenal ulcer. Okay, you want me to start a drip? Start with a high dose IV bolus now, and once she's admitted, they can continue with BI. ID dosing. So no drip. Drips were used for years, but new data suggests that intermittent dosing isn't significantly different. Fair enough. Any history of cirrhosis? No, why? For possible variceal bleeds, we'd need noctriotide drip and antibiotics. Well, she isn't vomiting blood, it's just melana. Actually, any cirrhotic with a GI bleed would benefit from antibiotics to decrease the risk of SBP, and we need to assume a variceal bleed until proven otherwise. Got it, I'll remember that. Lastly, I'll have you give a dose of Raglan just before we scope to push any remaining blood out of the stomach so we can see better. I could order that now if you want to just come scope. Keep up that awesome resuscitation and I'll scope her in the morning. Okay.